The supportive mother of television star Ant McPartland was today seen leaving his house after he was arrested on suspicion of drink driving. Christine Woodhull has been a rock to her 42-year-old son over the past year, which has seen him spend two months in rehab because of his addiction to painkillers. She is believed to have moved in with her son and has comforted him after he announced that he is separating from his wife of 11 years, Lisa Armstrong. The Saturday Night Takeaway star was arrested on Sunday afternoon after he failed a breathalyzer test in southwest London. On Monday, his mother got into the back of a black Mercedes van which pulled up at his house in Chiswick, West London. She was with her son after he was spotted returning home at 3 a.m. on Monday morning following his arrest yesterday. A driver was seen removing several bags from the boot before Ms. Woodhall, looking tired and shaken, jumped in the back before she was whisked away. Several minutes later the van was seen arriving at the nearby home of Anne's estranged wife Lisa to collect the couple's dog. The driver went into the four-story townhouse before emerging shortly after with the chocolate Labrador. He then took the energetic pooch into the back of the black car, which was parked on the road, through a sliding door before driving away. The man did not comment during the brief visit to the home where Ant's wife remained holed up this morning. His visit came only five minutes after a dog walker returned with the pet following an hour-long walk. She also declined to comment on Ant's arrest. Ms. Woodhall has been photographed walking with her son in Richmond Park and the surrounding areas in recent months. McPartland received an old at Buckingham Palace for his services to entertainment and broadcasting in January last year along with his presenting partner, Declan Donnelly. Six months later, McPartland said he was entering a rehabilitation center following a battle with depression, alcohol and substance abuse. He revealed he had been addicted to strong painkillers after a failed knee operation in 2015. He later described how he had hidden pills in different places to avoid his addiction being detected and said that, after undergoing another botched operation in June, he realized he needed help 